Welcome back. We're going to get straight into a reading with Miss Chantel Jackson. Welcome her to the show. Now, if you don't know Miss Chantel Jackson is, she is the ex-girlfriend of Nellie and the ex-girlfriend of Floyd Mayweather. Now, she may have other accolades, but that's all I know. So we're going to welcome her to the show. And the reason why she's here is because she's trending topic right now because Nellie and the Shanti is back together. And now, you know, the people on the outside who want Nellie and Shanti to win may see her as the ops. But then I think there's a following out here for Miss Chantel too because she is a beautiful woman. And why wouldn't she have a following? So we're going to pull some cards real fast just to see what's the energy around Miss Chantel real fast, real quick. Let's jump straight into it. Let's cut these cords. Okay. So we're just going to see what the cards want to say. And then we'll just go from there. Okay. So divine angels, if you could, please give me the best cards from this deck to describe the current energy for Miss Chantel Jackson. Thank you so much. Okay, so the first thing, okay, so that wanted to come out off top. So we're going to see what else wants to come out. Okay, so right now we got the Three of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Strength card. Okay, which tells me, okay, you guys can see the cards. It's telling me that she does have good energy around her. She is um, probably collaborating with someone. It also could be given some type of third party energy, collaborating on a, you know, creative way um, a creative wave with you know a good synergy okay working well with somebody being somebody's muse okay now either she's somebody's muse or she has somebody that she has her eye on but again that three of pentacle as you can see there's um there's somebody here being creative there's somebody on the stage being the muse and then there's a teacher but you know we got the three of pentacle th good energy Okay, next followed by the fool card, which means, you know, she may be taking a leap of faith forward towards something. Okay, she may be a little naive as well. This also looks like it's, she's because it's a zero, it's looking like she's trying to have a new beginning somewhere, somehow. But the thing about it, she's going about it her own way. She's dancing to the beat of her own drums. Okay, next we got the strength card. Okay, it's moving forward with something that may be a little fearful to her, but yet she has the courage and the strength to do so. Okay, and now as you can see in this card, this is a female uh, leading a lion. Okay, as you know, the lion is the king of the jungle, and he's not known as being cowardly unless you're watching the Wiz. But in this card, it's showing the feminine energy leading the lion. Okay. So she could be showing up as a lioness. So let's see what's going on with these energies, okay? Good energy so far. She's feeling good. She feeling like she's looking good, feeling good, okay? She feel like she can win. But there is something that she's a little fearful about that she may not feel like she can win. But she's still going to have, you know, take that leap of faith forward towards something. So let's see what is the Three of Pentacles about for Miss Chantel? Okay? It seems like off top. We got the flirtation card. So it seems like she's working with this third party energy. I don't know if she's trying to interfere. Off top, I just see her interfering with Nellie's and Ashanti's relationship. Now, it could be somebody else. Okay, but right now, that's all I know about. But we'll say if it's not Nellie and Ashanti, it's another third party energy. It's, it's like either she being uh, someone. Uh, it's almost like, is she the third party energy? Or she feel like somebody came into her energy and they're the third party. But... It speaks about some type of, but the third, three of pentacles, it's more of good energy. That's what you're at least hoping for, a good energy. And I see this flirtation here. Now, as you can see in this card, this is a person here with a banjo or some type of guitar or string instrument in their hand. That to me represents a music artist. Uh, next, we have a feminine energy here that's dressed, barely girl, barely dressed. Okay. But for her to be dressed like that, I guess she's feeling sexy. I guess she's feeling good about herself. But she also has a bow in her hand if she's ready to shoot an arrow. So she may be flirting and testing the waters and see how far she can go with this relationship. Is this person still, does this person still have feelings for her or care for her? Now with this flirtation card, it seems like he is flirting back. It does seem like he's flirting back, but at this time she's not ready to shoot that arrow. It's like it's almost like she's making some type of what can I say? I want to say commitment. It's almost like she's giving him some type of 
ultimatum like or are trying to lure him in with her sex appeal with her beauty okay she feels like she can win on that and okay and he seems like he's interested so this is a flirtation card here i see flowers all around next we got charity case okay now either she feeling like she's a charity case or she feel like somebody else is a charity case this third party energy here she feel like she wants to be the muse of his life again okay i'm seeing the masculine and she want to be the muse of life again but the thing about this charity card i do see I do see uh, children here. So I see two children here in, in someone's arms that's leaving the situation. Now, this kind of gives me, is she, because sometimes we have unhealed childhood trauma. And, I, and when I see children in a car, if you don't have children, maybe you want children, but then maybe there's a inner child that needs to be healed here. So it could be something here that's unhealed in her that makes her want to be a part of this third party energy or want to interfere with this third party energy. But with the charity card, either she feel like, you know, whoever this person is that she's flirting with is just giving her charity work or being treating her like a charity case, or she feel like, you know, charity is about is all about helping. Okay, helping and giving. So, I don't know if she's feeling like she wants need help in the situation and she wants to be given all the affection, all the attention. Because maybe she didn't receive it as a young child. That's just kind of what I see when I, when I see this card. But next we got the exhilaration card. No, the exaltation. I be just making up some words, but girl, something, it just works for me. But it seems, now with this card, I do see a lot of beautiful designs, flowers, symbols. And I know this card represents marriage unity a beautiful wedding or creating a beautiful life or just beautiful things luxury that's what it kind of represents with this card so it's almost like is she looking to because how she living now is she still living the luxury life or is she looking at this third party energy aka nelly or whoever it could be for her as i'm not going to watch you provide a luxury life for somebody else you need to provide that for me Okay, it's almost like like a like a spoiled child. Like, no, give it to me. I don't want to share my toys. Give it to me. That's what I picked up here with that third party energy. But it's like she's gonna take a leap of faith forward. Like she either she's gonna make the first step, or she's gonna jump off the. Cause this person right here is close to the edge, close to the edge, and very naive about the dangers of being close to the edge. But this person don't care because they feel like they're taking a leap of faith forward, and God gonna catch them. So let's see what's going on with this fool card. Why do why does Miss Chan, Chantel feel like the fool, Miss Jackson? Okay, or why is the fool in the center of her reading? Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, it seems like she's probably leading with ego at this point. So I'm kind of picking up that she wants to interfere. Okay, the thing about this concentration, she focused on this person. Okay, she may not be speaking about it. As you can see, this little green whatever that thing is on on your lips so it means your lips are closed you're not speaking about it but then we got this web here is she trying to be the black widow is she trying to trap somebody in a web to kind of mess up their relationship or trap them in the web to keep them for themselves now you know the black widow once she get in her web she's gonna bite your head off baby and i think the black widow does that to even the person she mates with and she'll bite their head off so i do see she very focused and concentrating on the situation now with the lips up here with this little green monster on it, girl, it's giving me, uh, girl, make sure y'all get tested, okay? I don't want the little green bumps popping up on your lips, baby. Okay, but that's just what I'm saying. Okay, I got to read what I see. Um, but yeah, I do see entrapment here, okay? And not speaking about it, at least that's not what you're saying. You may be acting like you're doing one thing, but then you're really trying to trap somebody. You're trying to get them trapped up and then... Is you trying to get them trapped by a kid or, or are you trapping them? Because like I said, once the black widow mate with you, she's going to bite your head off. I think that's what it is, right? Then we got risk here, followed by risk. Now the risk card tells me, okay, are you gambling? Are you taking a risk or something? Again, that go that three of pentacles right here again. It's almost like you want the key to something. Do you want the keys to the beamer? Okay, do you want the keys to the house? What do you want? Okay, because it's like you, you feel like you got the key to solving whatever issue you want to take a leap of faith for. But at the same time, I see this grizzly bear um, that won't allow this passenger to pass. 
So it's like you want to allow somebody to do something. You want to allow somebody to move forward. That's what I'm picking up. Next we got ego, okay? And then when you leap with that ego, girl, are you really trying to win, okay? Because it's not really good to leap with the ego. Not like, not from what I've heard. But this is somebody that that's very attracted to the opposite sex. And she's trying to, peak, you know, almost like a peacock, but this is a, a rooster. A rooster got the feathers, almost like a peacock. They strut around, you know, they do their little strut trying to catch somebody's attention. Whose attention? The opposite sex. Somebody that you're interested in. Somebody that you could possibly want to mate with. Okay? So I'm seeing that. So she want to take a, a leap of faith forward. And she's trying to find the strength to do that. Or... She, she got the strength or she's trying to pull somebody along. She's trying to pull her lion along. Okay. She's showing up as a very strong, at least she feels like she's a very strong woman. She, you know, she feel like what she wants, she can get. She's giving out that lioness, black widow energy, especially when she's leading with the ego. But then again, but your ego is so strong and so big because this is a five. You may not be seeing things as you should. You may not be seeing that glass all the way full or you see it full, but it's really empty. Okay. It's always good to see it being full, but girl, if it's really empty and you're looking at it as being full, then it's like, are you playing yourself? So we got this strength card here. Let's find out why that strength card is here for Miss Ch Ch Chantel. Now with the strength card, I see extreme measures. Now, in this card, as you can see, we see a man and a woman tussling, baby. They tussling outside, baby. They outside and they tussling concerning a letter that's in your hand. Now, this letter can be a message that the male's seen and he confronted somebody about it or she can... But it seems like the male is the one doing the confronting. And then I see somebody watching. Either this bird is watching and trying to scream at them, telling them to stop. Again, that third part of the energy. So I'm seeing the masculine being a little more forceful okay then maybe she would like very extreme when it comes to a couple okay let's see what else i see in this card and yeah like i said i see them being outside and i see the man he crossed the line he crossed the line to come over to her okay so did he cross the line and found out he got played and got upset about it or found out something but either way go they fighting baby they tussling okay and that's an eight card Okay, so it's something that was divine, that was divinely planned, or something that divinely had to happen. And I see that's why probably why she's a little fearful. Then we got this flattery card here. Now this is a weird looking card. Either somebody being two faced, bipolar, or wearing a mask. Because in in the head, as you can see, there's a plan that's growing. There's a plant that's growing. There's um, two people that's in this card. It's like two people are facing each other, and but then the mask is like dead. The mask is like it's in their head, but they like dead to the situation, almost zombie like girl. And it's flattery. So she probably, you know, like I said, she probably feel like her feminine wiles can conquer all. But I think it's a rude awakening that's happening here, and maybe she's a little delusional about what's going on. Okay, but there's some seeds that's planted in her head. Okay, and now uh, that's a concerning card to have. And a girl, we got bluff. Either she called somebody bluff or somebody called her bluff. That's why I see she kind of fearful here. Okay, with this, she she had the courage to move forward just to be either shot down or cause some type of altercation here. So we still got enough time for me to pull three more cards. Let's see which ones I want to know more about. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to know more about, I guess I'm going to stick with this extreme, okay? I want to know more about this extreme, extremism card. Why does she? Why is she fearful and need courage towards this? It's a extreme situation. Oh, okay. Now, the extreme card, remember the two people fighting? There's some illusions here. Okay, illusions of concerning love. Okay, concerning somebody, you thinking you got somebody heart, you thinking you more than what you are to somebody when they only giving you a toy heart. As you can see, that's a fake heart that this person is giving out. I'm sorry, girl. I don't know why my camera be tripping, tripping. Let's see, can we get it to focus? 
Okay, as much as I'm focused, it's trick. I'm put it over here. But there are some illusions here when it comes to matters of the heart. Now, Miss, now if you check out the previous reading I did on her and Nelly, there was some illusions, some magician tricks, or some spells that could have possibly been going around in that reading. And I'm kind of seeing the same thing here because it's almost like what she thought was going to work to get a relationship back or gain something is not working. And I see somebody, there are some illusions of the heart. And not only do he got that one fake heart, that is, which is a wind-up toy, if you can look at it. It's a wind-up toy that he given his heart to her. But he got a lot of more in his suitcase behind him. So it's nothing special about what he gave or what he's trying to give this masculine energy. It's trying to give her. And she is kind of smiling about it. And she thinks, oh my God, he's giving me his heart. It's like, girl, look behind him. He got plenty more that's in his suitcase. So there's some illusions when it comes to matters of the heart. And the situation is over, dead, ending. The Grand Reaper, Reaper has came and he's collected, okay? Time is up. And then as you can see, somebody, what piggy, piggy bank is getting spilt. So the money, the cash cow is no longer. It's an ending. Now this ending could bring new beginnings. But I think, it, like I said, I see the childhood wounds here that need to be healed here. And then we got conformity. Okay, somebody. Okay, now look. As you see this holy person or pope. This is like a pope here with with a cross. But also being a puppet ma puppet master towards somebody. Okay, and it seems like this is a devil that's on the strings. So I'm starting to see that were there some signs that she couldn't get who she wanted back. And she decided to turn to spirituality to control the situation. Now, y'all let me know if that's what I'm picking up because that's what I'm seeing. Okay? And that's what I'm seeing. So, it's just showing that my my reading before is still holding true. Because there are some delusions, some illusions here when it comes to the heart. Now, let's see. Where is that uh, childhood, this charity card? Let me find out more about this charity card. Why does she feel like she's charity or she feel like maybe the person that she wants, whoever he's with, is a charity? Let's see. Why is the charity here for Miss Chantel? Okay, now the charity is here because we got robbery. Okay, so she feel like she in competition with somebody, but she feel like that person is no competition. Okay, so she feel like the person that the person that she want is with is charity. It's a charity case. Okay, it's almost like oh he's only with her because he really want me. Well, there's a robbery here that's going on, and it's on and you as you see this person is pulling a rug, a dollar bill rug from up under someone. Okay, it's a devil here, and then I guess this is the angel since she got wings. But it's like this devil is trying to pull the, the dollar, the money, the rug from up under somebody, okay, to kind of help make, make them lose their balance, okay? And it seems like it's working. But this person right here is holding the ring. So do she feel like this relationship could possibly be, the, the one with Nelly and the Shanti could possibly go towards marriage, and she's trying to stop it? Okay, because there's some jealousy, some robbery here between the two. Next, we got uncertainty. Again, there goes somebody in their heads. And there's somebody in their head just like with this flattery card that we just showed you, that two-faced card. Again, are you playing with somebody's mind? Okay, are you playing mind games? I'm picking that up as well. You see that, you see, again, you see the devil and the angel still fighting in the head. Okay, so it's giving me bipolar. Again, I'm not saying she bipolar. It's just the, the way that the cards are showing, the way she's thinking. Okay, her thought process. Because we're seeing no emotions on her face. It's almost like she unbothered. But there's a war going on in her head. Next, we got a dreamer. Okay, now, now with this dreamer card, as you see, this person is looking at their laptop and dreaming. But this person right here is being pulled Okay, being pulled towards something. It's almost like almost like social media. I see that she's looking at social media and seeing something. Okay, and want and it's almost like dreaming to have. Like some people look at certain people's life on Instagram and they want to have their life, and you don't really know what's really going on with their life. But it seems like she's being drawn to something. She's being pulled to something. And like I said, with this charity card, it, it is, and that's some type of childhood issue that could possibly be here that's re showing up or reoccurring in her life right now. Okay, so that's going to be the reading for Miss Chantel Jackson. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, 
and you know, I wish him the best. You know, I, I what you don't want to do is try to make somebody come to you against their own will for your own satisfaction, for your own ego issues, because it's gonna cause a drama. It's gonna cause drama and extreme drama at the end, because you're trying to play with something, you're trying to play God, you're trying to do something that against someone's will that they need strings to attach themselves to you and that's not how you want nobody okay you want you want it to be a mutual thing you don't want to feel like you got to drag somebody along and you don't want to feel like that you got to be fearful to even go towards somebody okay it should be a mutual coming together right and so and she's a beautiful woman i know she can have that but it seems like there's a little jealousy here and jealousy is not a way to lead Okay, because it's going to just lead you to doing something that you don't want to do. It's going to put karma on your life. Okay, so at first it may have been some little flirting. That's probably all it was. It's a simple flirting. Don't try to interfere with somebody's life. Okay, and try to make it your own. Because you, when you was in that spot, I don't know what happened between you and Nelly. But right now, he's on to another phase. So it's time for you to move on to another phase. Because it won't end well if you continue to go and manipulate a situation. So that's going to be the reading. Catch me on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.